Australian Prime Minister Morrison has suffered a massive hit to his personal approval rating and been overtaken as preferred Prime Minister by Anthony Albanese in the first published opinion poll of 2020. Here's a summary of the article. Scott Morrison has suffered a massive hit to his personal approval rating and been overtaken as preferred Prime Minister by Anthony Albanese in the first published opinion poll of 2020. Satisfaction in Morrison fell 8 points and dissatisfaction increased by 11 points, both movements outside the poll's margin of error of 2.5%. Just 4% of voters were uncommitted when asked how Morrison is performing. Albanese is in positive territory after a six-point increase in satisfaction from 40% to 46% and dissatisfaction falling from 41% to 37%. He leads Morrison as preferred prime minister, 43% to 39%, the first time he has done so since taking the Labour leadership after Bill Shorten's shock loss at the May 2019 election. Morrison dropped nine points as preferred prime minister while Albanese increased by nine points, reversing Morrison's lead of 14 points in the last poll, taken in the first week of December, to trail by four points. Since returning to Australia days before Christmas Morrison has apologised for his holiday and ramped up the federal government's response to the bushfire crisis but denied suggestions it has been slow to respond or that Australia's response to global heating is plainly inadequate. In the first week of January the federal government issued a compulsory call-out of 3,000 Defence Force reserves and Morrison pledged $2 billion for bushfire recovery. Morrison's horror summer, in which he was heckled by survivors in Cabago, New South Wales, continued with the revelation that the New South Wales Rural Fire Service Commissioner had not been informed of the compulsory call-out and an embarrassing gaffe in which Morrison claimed nobody had died on Kangaroo Island where two people were killed. This post received a score of 12,021, with an upvote ratio of 97%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Vacationing in Hawaii while your country faces Armageddon costs you 9 points of favorability in Australia. That only makes sense if your favorability was at 9 before the fires started. It makes more sense when you consider that he's supported by one of the world's largest media conglomerates. And there won't be an election for nearly four years. What I love about representative democracy is that my representative can renege on all promises the minute the election ends and I have little recourse for four years. Wait, I don't love that at all. Prime ministers are in charge for three years but get elected on one day. One specific day, with a specific news cycle. With the amount of news and bullshit on social media occupying people's minds, long-term historical performance is irrelevant now. All that matters is what the attitudes look like on the day. A lot of important decisions are made in one day. I agree that there should be a longer period where people can go voting. Politicians go campaigning for more than months, so it would make sense to make it longer than one day. You beauty. But prepare for Murdoch News Group to turn the flames up on its fake news, lies, climate change denials. They already have. Every Murdoch-owned press outlet has completely pivoted to blaming arsonists for everything. Arsonists, false flag sabotage by liberals seeking to hurt the mining industry, shady terrorists, anything and everything except mentioning the climate. It's a coordinated full court press. Also the Australian put out a story saying, he's not perfect but Scott Morrison's mistakes prove he's human like us. I can't understand how rag newspapers like that can exist, or that people would read it and not realize they're trying to be lulled into a sense of okayness. People prefer a comfortable lie over a truth that conflicts with their own personal biases. He had to he dragged kicking and screaming to hold Royal Commission into banks, which proved criminality beyond anyone's expectations and now he's had to be dragged kicking and screaming back from a secret holiday in Hawaii to actually show some spine and leadership on national emergency. Then he gets back and spends taxpayer money making a party political amateur YouTube ad boasting of putting 80 cents per person into fire response 20 Australian dollars mill. The guy is under equipped in the intellect department, has no idea what to do aside from inane ad slogans. Greater than the guy is under equipped in the intellect department, has no idea what to do aside from inane ad slogans. I mean, he had a fucking empathy consultant. I think that says everything that ever needed to have been said about him. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.